What's going on fam? It's your boy Darkstep here and we have a visitor. Excuse me one second. Go away. Stop. I don't like you. Stop. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Try that again. Alright, what's going on fam? It's Darkstep here and today we've got a bit of a weird episode. Um, I don't know if you can still tell from my voice or not, but I've been actually fighting something for the past couple weeks and... Um, yeah, I think I'm doing much better now. I'm actually able to talk and, you know, do something for more than 30 seconds before, you know, I get uh, tired or whatever. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot planned for today. Uh, I did do a lot of the recording, <clears throat> pardon me, while I was uh, sick. So some of the recording voice might not be perfect, but it is what it is. Now, I really think that there's going to be a lot to go through for this episode here, and I really think you're going to enjoy it still. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be a little bit on the shorter side, but that's okay because we got an absolute dump truck amount of stuff done. So with that said, let's get into it. We're digging some holes. <laughs> so basically what I want to do is I want to start getting um, some farms for the crimson wart uh, for these guys the crimson allium and the warp allium and in order to do that you need to get the mushrooms now you can build your own mushroom farm which is cool but you do need sticky pistons so what i've done is i've gone down to y equals 12 um I see we're at 10 12 and 19 for our coordinates and i have dug out this now this is exactly one chunk you can find your chunk borders by doing f3 and g and it'll take away your chunk borders or show them whatever and i just thought it was a cool place to start the video because um you can actually see what kind of ore generates so you can see we had a couple of redstone here a uh, few big veins of iron one big for coal some more redstone um there was some lapis already, but I did get that before I decided to do this on camera. And I also found this guy sitting right here. So, ooh. We're gonna just dig around this, make sure it is all good. It's got some more redstone there, not that I really care. I should be using Silk Touch right now. There we go. And let's just clear... Oh, it keeps going. I just don't want there to be any lava or any surprises or of any kind. So it looks like we're good. So we've got one, two, three, four, six. Seven. And from that seven, we got 15. So we beat the curve of only getting... Uh, double we got just a little bit over double so pretty pretty cool uh, I'm gonna keep working on this um, slime farm and uh, we'll be back when we have something more and now you remember how we had all these ores and everything in here I did another chunk and that's all that was there so when you're mining for hours at a time and you just feel like you're just getting nothing after nothing after nothing, just remember that chunks can spawn just like this. So, yeah. And you'll also notice I have the captions on in the uh, bottom right hand corner. And that is just because I have the um, Minecraft sounds off right now. I'm just uh, listening to some music and watching some shows. And I don't want anything to be, you know, sneaking up on me. So I have that on there just so I can kind of keep an eye on it. And uh, yeah, so that's where we are now. We've got uh, two chunks done. I figure we're probably going to have to do up to six to finally start getting something. So hopefully we start getting something sooner rather than later because I really don't want to do six whole chunks. But if I have to, I have to. So I'm going to get the... I'm going to, well, before I dig some more, I'm going to AFK a little bit just to see if anything spawns. And then we're going to dig some more chunks if we have to. So we'll be right back. 
just got back from a tiny AFK session. Nothing. But we got something. It's only one. But it's better than nothing. <laughs> so at least we know this is a slime chunk now. And we have a week that we can get some slime. And now we can continue back. Uh, might AFK a little bit more just to get some more slime. Uh, but we have a way of getting slime so we can make sticky pistons and anything else that requires slime so I do want to get back to making the what was I even making <laughs> I was making the the warped and the crimson uh, mushroom farm so we'll get back to that now that we have some slime all right welcome back we have done another thing so this guy here is a very fun contraption just gonna clean up my test here and basically all you have to do is hit this lever and then it gets a little bit loud <laughs> so that's enough for that so we basically have a minecart uh, system going underneath here and this side here unfortunately because I have an automatic uh, dispenser set up I won't actually be able to collect the stuff in the middle so kind of sucks but I mean it is what it is um, but it's our easy way for us to get our mushrooms. These are the things that we wanted here. Uh, crimson fungus, and I don't see any of the green one, but that's okay. So when you're done using this here, just hit it off, turn it off at a lever. Go all the way to the back here. And boom, you can store all of the stuff in here and in here. So these are the funguses that we want, uh, crimson and warped funguses, because with those we can actually grow the nether trees on our own, which is pretty cool. Now I do want to give a sh uh, shout out to Kmond uh, for this tutorial, I just kind of watched on YouTube. Uh, I have obviously modded it a little bit, um, like with the automatic uh, dispenser for the bone meal, and um, I don't know if I should cover this up or not, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, basically this outside here is just to keep the insides all safe from creepers and whatever else. Um, but yeah, so it's basically just... It's a little bit... Uh, simple. So basically, when we hit that lever, the uh, sticky piston pushes this block down and will send a signal to the observer here which does its thing and then the signal runs all the way here the repeater stops for one tick into this repeater stops for one tick but when it goes up over here it's giving power to this line here which in turn is powering all the pistons we have on the side and then basically just loops back around so just make sure you have all the uh, uh, repeaters make sure they're all on one tick for it uh, it's pretty easy to modify yourself um, it really wasn't too complicated. No, it was there. Um, yeah, so if you were going to do this yourself, I would recommend that you think about it before you do it. If you want an item collection system in underneath, make sure you think about that before you do it. If you don't, then you don't really need as much space. Um, but yeah, this thing is working like a dream, so we can actually start growing our nether wart trees. Do I have any bone meal on me? I don't. So I'm going to get some bone meal and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. In order for the crimson fungus to grow, it does have to be on the warped nylium and no crimson, sorry. And then for the warped fungus, it has to be on the warped nylium. So you can't put this one on here and grow it. I'm clicking but it's doing nothing. So all you need is a piece of bone meal and boom and boom and there you go you got yourself a very very high tree. Um, yeah that's gonna be a bit of a pain to get to but we got lots of shroom lights so that's good. Uh, you can also get some of these vines which are pretty cool. You can actually just kind of climb the vines um, I'm sure a lot of people know this by now, but you could use that for a way to get up to your base or 
whatever. There's a lot of different uses for it. Decoration obviously is one as well. So I believe with this you need shears. Oh, that's just just like that. Cool. So you don't even need uh, shears. So you can just. Oh, I guess it has to be onto that block. Okay. I learned something new. So, boom. And now we've got ourselves a makeshift ladder, if you will. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. I'm going to have to sleep soon. Um, but yeah, we now are able to farm uh, the crimson and the warped wood, as well as the fungus, the shroom lights, and the weeping... Yeah, Weeping Vines. So, very excited for that. I've actually never done that in a survival playthrough before. So, I'm going to quickly grab some sleep and then we'll be back with the next update. What's going on, beautiful people? Just uh, giving you a bit of an update here. We have created a large area here. And it is going to be for our next project. If you can guess what it is, put it in the comments below. Otherwise, you'll find out in a few minutes. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. Been very busy, and no, it's not done yet. If you can tell from this, congratulations. Um, I'm building a hotel. <laughs> This is going to be very, very, very big. Um, concrete powder for the bottom, and then concrete for up here. And then there's going to be more layers going up. But um, I just haven't done them yet. <laughs> so we're going to be using this uh, white and gray style. And we're indenting by two about here. So it's not just going to be a straight wall up. It's going to kind of go in and then back up. I do need to clear this out. Um, very much a mob farm, so I got some work to do. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this guy here. And uh, yeah, so we're going to also incorporate a uh, sheep farm into here somehow. Uh, I have some ideas for it, but um, nothing concrete yet. Uh, unfortunately, I am still struggling with my voice a little bit. I don't know if you can actually tell or not, but <clears throat> still a little bit rough to talk. So this is the whole front, and yes, I've done all four sides. So boom, and from our main house, this is the kind of view that I can uh, expect to see every time I wake up from my bed. It'll be like this. And you can kind of see here how it goes in a little bit and then it's going to go up more. So that's just kind of a sneak preview of what we're doing. This is taking me a very long time. I've never built something this big before, so it's a learning experience for me. But uh, yeah, this is where we are. <clears throat> I've also been busy with the bees here. And I'll show you this here real quick. So I built a third edition here. Uh, this one here is to get the honey bottles that gives you these honey blocks here and Basically the way that that works. I'll quickly show you here is uh, What's a good one probably yeah, probably this one here. So you have a dispenser here uh, shooting a glass bottle into here um, Let's use one of my concrete here real quick and basically there's a signal that runs all under here from behind the nest through a comparator and when it gets to five which is exactly what it is when it becomes full the signal will come all the way through here shoot the dispenser off and then the bottle will shoot out randomly as well so when that happens hopefully it gets caught by these hoppers and if it doesn't oh well <clears throat> get out of the door there we go now I can get out so I'll show you we've also made a little storage area here so when the bottles are collected they go here I haven't really been in loaded chunks very often so and you do see sometimes it does go like this off in the back uh, and then this is just where we're gonna have more of our standalone storage the design isn't great 
because unfortunately the bottles just kind of go everywhere. But uh, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. And also elephants in the room. We have fully decorated this out in honey blocks and shroom lights and uh, these blocks as well. And this is perfectly lit up, so nothing should be spawning in here. Uh, I'm going to actually do a little bit of an experiment taking out one of the um, things of bottles here and see if that makes a difference. I can't do that right now. My inventory is full. But, uh, yeah. So there you have it, folks. Been very busy in my time off. And uh, we'll update you when there's more to come. So I was really hoping to be able to get more of our hotel done. Um, unfortunately, I just don't have the supplies. Um, kind of unfortunate, because I was really hoping to at least get the frame done. But not a big deal. So as you can kind of see here, each one of these here... Hold on. Um, there we go. Each one of these here is where a new floor is going to be. So I have started to decorate it. So that we have the lobby here. And then we have the first floor, uh, which I'm going to surprise you with when we go up there. And then we have the actual first floor of rooms, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then penthouse. So all in all, I've got a plan for what I want to do. I've also changed out uh, the windows on the side so you can actually see in and, and it breaks that up just a little bit more. And I put some windows on the front as well. I obviously have room. I can do something here and here and I don't know if and what I'm going to do, but I've done the inside. <laughs> Instead of grinding for more materials, I just use the stuff we had. So I used a lot more of the same uh, gray concrete here. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, used a triple carpet uh, thing here. So you can actually break this down and we see that, you know, there's carpet on carpet on carpet. Uh, and that is supposed to prevent mobs from being able to pathfind in here, and that's kind of the goal. Uh, a couple little rose bushes along the side here. I've tried to make this as symmetrical as I can. A uh, little waterfall in the corner here. Uh, little lily pads in there, and I don't know if I like this being glassed off or open. I had it open, and then I just felt like it needed something, so I don't know. Leave your suggestions down in the comment section for me. And then I just kind of put these here in the middle, just little flower shrines. I don't know if it's up a little bit too high because it does kind of obscure vision. I don't know. I might knock it down one. I don't know yet. Um, yeah, all the shroom lights are uh, hidden behind trap doors. So the light still come through, but the red still kind of comes through as our, one of our dominant colors. Eventually, I'm going to want to have a villager going back and forth here on a minecart. Uh, just kind of looks like they're, you know, really busy and hard at work. And this is just like a pen and just a little clipboard or whatever you find on a counter. And lastly, we've got this. So, this took quite a bit of time. There's basically going to be a big divider down the middle here. Um, so we can actually have two rooms on each floor. So we start at the end. So this is the first floor after the lobby. This is a pool. Obviously not done. Don't judge. But just a little pool we can kind of go into and swim around. We're going to put some umbrellas up here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, like some sun loungers. and uh, Obviously it's going to be an indoor one, so... It's, it's not going to be as good as whatever we put on the penthouse, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a good start. And then over here, might do a second pool, might do like a sauna room. I don't really know yet. Um, but this is kind of where I ran out of concrete and I was like, uh-oh, I'm going to have to put this on hold. <clears throat> so, yeah. Basically, there's going to be like a wall here um, 
for all these here. So this would be for the first floor, uh, or for the pool, for the first floor, second, third, fourth, fifth, and penthouse. And then this one will be a straight one down that you can enter from any level. And that's going to be for the whole left side of the building. And then the right side is just the same thing, but mirrored. So uh, you have your down, penthouse, fifth floor, fourth, third, second, first, pool. And then here we are in the lobby. So yeah, this took uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of work, but uh, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I might do like a chandelier or something in the middle here. Um, it's not done, but it's a very, very, very good start to where we were. But, as with all good things, today must come to an end. So this will be the end of the video. Thank you everybody for sticking around. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.